Welcome to Network Nuts. My name is Alok Shivastava and in this small video I am going to show you how to find out the exit status of a command. Means if you have given the command say it's a long command in, and it includes some pipes and other things and you want to find out whether the command has been successfully executed or not. So we have a very small thing or a simple thing that will help us out. Let's say I give a, com a command cal. Obviously the command has been successfully executed. So here the output is coming on my screen but I just want to make sure that the command has been executed successfully. I can give colon dollar question mark. If colon echo dollar question marks give me a zero value, it means the command has been executed successfully. There has been no problem while executing the command. Okay, I'll clear the screen now. See if, if I just give a typo error here, I give a cal, K C A L L. Obviously this command it doesn't exit and if I again give the same command it will give me 127. 127 any non zero value means the command has not been executed successfully. I can also use the exit status of a command in, in a small script to give me the output. I have a very small script uh, here for you. I'll just do a screen clear. Control cap L is the thing for making the screen clear. I have a small script here. I just show it to you. I created a script. This is it. Echo N, a simple script by Network Nut. So as I'm giving this command in the echo, this line will be displayed as it is. Echo, a blank line will come and echo hyphen N, please enter username to find and then I am taking the input from the keyboard and whatever values I am feeding in will be stored in a temporary variable say USR or user. Then I use the cut command cut delimiter is colon field1 as we know that the users are stored or the user information is stored in the etc password file. So field1 always contains the username. So cut delimiter is colon cut the first field grab dollar USR. So it, it so dollar $USR will take the value from what I had just feed it from the keyboard dev null and, and now I am taking the exit status of the command in a variable named as out it can be anything if dollar $out means the value here equal to 0 it means the command is executed successfully and user account already exists and found and if it is not 0 that means that user is not available under the etc password file and it will give me a value of user account does not exist. Let me execute it. I hope you will be able to use it. I just came out. I give chmod plus x alloc.sh to make it executable. Then I give the command alloc.sh. Say please enter username to find. I give here alloc. I know that the alloc account is already there. It gives me account already exit and found exist and found now I executed ag it again say I give uh, anything say kite user account does not exist in etc password file so in this small script I am using the exit status of the command to get me the result hope you liked it and though it's a very small tool it can be used or a very handy tool while making your shell scripting. Thank you very much and see you again.